comical moment this week when we learned the Biden administration and DHS are seeking a private contractor to run a migrant detention facility at Guantanamo Bay. We all just pondered the reaction if Trump had tried to send migrants to a prison camp in Cuba. <laughs> it gave me a good laugh. And while the heat was certainly tempered from the far left, it was true that the far left was not happy about it. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez calling the plan utterly shameful. Fellow squad member Ilhan Omar calling it an embarrassingly bad decision. Do better. Rather tempered, but still angry, to be fair. The fake horse whip story also drummed up a lot of outrage. Still drummed it up today, as people who are too stupid to know what reins on a saddle are just keep complaining. But in reality, it has nothing to do with whips or Gitmo. These are just details, of course. The larger picture is the left simply infuriated by any resistance at all to an open border, even though, as you have seen, the border couldn't get much more open than it is. DHS telling Newsmax there are less than 5,000 Haitian migrants under that now famous bridge in Del Rio, Texas. It was about 15,000 just a few days ago. Only 1,400 have been sent back to Haiti. They give us that number to pacify the vast majority of Americans with their jaws on the floor, watching our southern border be overrun by Central Americans and now Haitians. The administration knows most Americans, even most Democrats, don't approve of this utter nonsense. We watch every day as the White House tries to tell us that our border is actually closed. Well, there certainly is not an open border. Uh, we are continuing to employ our immigration proceedings and process and restrictions at the border. So insulting and so condescending, really. You know, it's like somebody trying to tell you the sky is green and treating you like an idiot for not believing it. DHS telling Newsmax around 3,200 Haitians will soon be moved, be removed from the country in CBP custody. 1,400 have already gone, we've been told. So that's around 5,000, right? Out of maybe 15,000. Well, the rest are your new neighbors. They have been released into your country. We assume most were likely attached to a woman who's claiming she's pregnant. After we learned days ago that any pregnant woman and her family would be released with a notice to appear, which of course they will just probably throw away. Today, the White House was called out for this glaring and easily abused loophole. Take a listen to how they responded. Are you I'll, suggesting you don't believe when women say they're pregnant? Is that a big issue, we think, at the border? I am not in charge of keeping the border secure. Do you, you think guys are. pregnant women are posing a big threat to the border? You tell me. To the border communities? You Is that a big me. issue? We can ensure we know where they are, and we can ensure we know uh, when they're going to come back. So that's what the process is. If there's a big outrage about no, pregnant women, I'm not tracking it. This is, such, this is such a pathetic White House. Such an absolutely embarrassing White House and such a pathetic defense. Immediately trying to make it what? Like it's some kind of a women's issue, talking to a male reporter, trying to shame him or get him canceled on Twitter. So utterly embarrassing and pathetic. Yes, obviously, any woman is going to claim that they're pregnant if it gets them out from underneath that bridge and into a society that hands out food and housing and education and a whole lot more for free, like America does. And that brings us to another reality of this situation. The idea that these 15,000 Haitians are refugees is just a lie. They are not. After the 2010 earthquake that decimated Port-au-Prince, nearly 100,000 Haitians were granted asylum in Brazil, and a lot of others went to places, other places in South America like Chile. Brazil is not oppressing these people. Most were happy to stay there for the past 11 years. It's a hell of a lot better than Haiti, even before the earthquake in Haiti. But then last year, during the run-up to the election in this country, Democrats and Joe Biden started indicating that the entire world should probably just show up at our southern border as a big middle finger to Donald Trump and to his common-sense immigration policy that treated the United States as a sacred place worthy of a decent border. We all remember candidate Biden here one year ago. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. I apologize, that's two years ago. That was during the primaries. From that moment, everything changed. Caravans began forming, and the new administration's ridiculous policies began luring Haitians who had already taken asylum in Brazil or other countries to say, eh, let's ditch this country, let's head out for a much better deal. And it's not just Brazil. As I said, Texans are finding IDs from Chile all over the ground near the border. 
Refugees don't come from Chile. Rich white people vacation in Santiago. This is not an oppressive, violent nation that spawns a refugee crisis. These people are just out for a much better deal. It's a little nicer here than Chile. Let's go there instead. It's the same nonsense as moving through Mexico to come to America. None of these people are refugees. It is the biggest load of lies ever, and Democrats are pretending to believe it, pretending to tell you that these are refugees because they simply want to pack the voter rolls. We all know that game. These are people who are safe and are moving through several other safe places to come to the richest country possible. And I guess in a way you can't blame them, right? People are going to do what they got to do. But you can blame the shameless and calculated politicians we have elected to run this country for allowing it and for thinking that you are too stupid to see what's going on. To shake everything up and frankly to confuse everybody, Al Sharpton, of all people, <laughs> showed up today at the southern border. You wouldn't have thunk it, but then you saw him. Visiting a Del Rio encampment to investigate these claims that Border Patrol agents are using whips like it's 250 years ago. Do you think Sharpton would have ever gone to the border for any other reason? Of course, it's a race baiting mission and everybody knew it. And he was actually heckled by Texans when he got there. And it's pretty funny. To my left is the behaviors the the racism where it doesn't exist. We don't feel. want your racism is in Texas. Get out of here. Nobody wants to hear your racist nonsense in Del Rio. As people you're a racist. <clears throat> Quite a moment there on live TV. Quite enjoyable, to be honest. Just today, U.S. Special Envoy for Haiti, Daniel Foote, resigned saying that he will not be associated with the United States' inhumane, counterproductive decision to deport thousands of Haitian refugees and illegal immigrants to Haiti. So obviously, Daniel Foote is a total moron. He thinks 15,000 Haitians swam to Mexico from Haiti and then walked into the United States. That's the only possible way that you could deny that these people all came from a safe third country and are not really refugees. And by the way, they came from a safe third country and walked through several more other safe countries just to get to the big, rich United States. The Biden team, for its part, finds itself in a real pickle here. They're flirting with reverting back to an actual border policy, to some kind of common sense. We saw the stuff about, uh, what, the Title 42, whatever it is. Some of these Trump implementations that they got rid of when they were pandering to the left, they're thinking about bringing them back because they realize how bad this is but they're finding out they immediately lose their far left base when they do so. You saw the Ilhan Omar, the AOC tweets. They control that side of the party. But the real lesson the left all needs to learn in all of this is that we've now tried it your way. We've tried it the crazy way. Biden went all in on your idiotic open borders. And even they, even Mayorkas and these other nut jobs, far left people realized this doesn't work. It doesn't matter how much of an ideologue you are. This just doesn't work. But the problem is now all the decisions are political. They move away from open borders. They lose the left. They keep open borders. They lose the middle and the moderates. Either way, they're toast in 2022. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.